Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is our weekly rundown of updates, events, features, all of those beautiful things that have been happening within the Blender Foundation, Blender community, and also with Blender as a software itself. And this week, we have a truckload of features and stuff that you guys need to know. First of all, we're going to start out with Microsoft. Microsoft has finally joined the Blender Development Fund as corporate gold members. Now, this makes a lot of sense owing to the fact that Microsoft actually make use of Blender to generate synthetic 3D models and images of humans that can be used to train AI models. And what is the synthetic data? The synthetic data are images that has been captured. And the main reason for this is at the end of the day, they find a way to clean up this particular image and convert them to 3D objects. Now these 3D objects, the reason why they're going towards this is first of all, it's clean and it's without annotation noise. And of course, it's very easy for you to control. All of the data that has been gathered here are actually fed into a neural network and this is used to recreate the 3d models now certain things are also considered while doing this first of all is realism there is also diversity and the richness of the individual labels that they are making and the main idea for this is to create 3d models that would be quite true to life this makes sense owing to the fact that there is the hololens coming from microsoft and also they are doing a lot of ar and vr stuff in recent times and for what is what they do have a motion capture pose database that deals with about 24 capture cameras which is obviously depth cameras there is 148,000 hand poses and 97 hand shapes so in case you want to read more about this, you want to check out this digital wardrobe and you know, you want to see all of this amazing stuff that Blender is being used for by the guys at Microsoft. I'm going to put links to that in the description so you can check these things out. On the other hand, I'm also thinking that maybe this is a commemoration to Windows 10 hitting five years anniversary. This happens to either be either coincidental, intentional, but the same day that they get to post that Windows 10 is hitting five years anniversary, that is the same day that they decided to join the Blender development fund. And because of this, I'm giving a very cool shout out for anyone who is feeling very windowy and wants to do that in Blender. You can go through and get the Windows XP Lunar team. And this is for Blender 2.8 series all the way up. And of course, you can also use it with Blender 2.3 as it is loaded right here. You can see this looks pretty cool. And this is made available by William Speed, popularly known as Nevos Rec 96. So in case you want to, you know, change your UI a bit, you want to see how this works, the XML link is going to be in the description so you can get this for yourself. So something else that you can get is the Rain 2.0. Of course, we've talked about the Rain 2.0, you know, from the animation studio, from Blender, being free and all that stuff. But then you have to go to the cloud to get this one. But it's very interesting to see that the guys from Blender has decided to put this within the demo file so you can go through and download this for yourself. And they actually created a brand new category for this called animation. So if we simply scroll all the way down, you can now see that we have a brand new one that stays right here. Originally, the name is Rain 2.0. And in case you want to get this, you can also come through and find this one for yourself. And speaking about things that you can find, there is a brand new feature that is now being worked on by the guys at Blender Foundation. And this is the property search status. And hopefully this is going to be coming to Blender 2.9 or maybe 2.91. I don't know. But this property search feature would definitely help you organize and work within your properties bar. Now, it doesn't matter if you are a pro user, sometimes you just need a little bit of help for searching with things directly in the properties bar and the properties search will do all of the digging for you. So the whole idea here is in case you want to get things going, you can just simply press Ctrl F and simply search. This looks good, makes a lot of sense, would save you so much time, but then it does have a couple of issues which they are trying to resolve right now. And one of the issues is you don't really know what property you're toggling, playing with, owing to the fact that you can have the same, you know, property name every single place directly in Blender. For example, if you take a look at the sample which you have here, if you go through and type the word sample, you will notice you would notice that there's a couple of samples, 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 and that is why the implementation 
of the highlighter is now something that they're putting as a top priority for this particular feature that should be coming over so this would definitely make a lot of sense as you can tell where things are happening you can definitely tell what tab is responsible for what and of course this might end up being a universal search for things that you can find within the property section but context matters and you know adding all of these highlighters will definitely come in handy and with this said let's also talk about something that you guys have actually worried me about in the comment sections you know every single place and you want to know about it and we are talking about nothing more than the particle nodes particle nodes is something that should be coming in extremely soon we did see that there are some features that should be coming and nodes and the physics uh, one of them but before then there are some very nice snippets that are right here and these snippets are very very interesting to take a look at as you can see the demo for this looks pretty nice the, the particle system itself is being looked at for you to be able to create multiple inputs for the same socket so these would actually expedite and also help uh, some cooler stuff that you want to create things like scatter spray and on the other hand they are also looking at ways that you can use this particle system to create some very interesting looking stuff so if you're looking at the ui right now you would notice that several stuff has actually started going into the design as the data processing nodes are being highlighted with blue the behavioral nodes are highlighted with red and there is also a particle simulation which deals with the current state that you can actually work with now for the use cases they are looking at creating particles and you know using the particle node system to scatter objects which is quite basic and i kind of think this would definitely uh kick off a lot of other updates that should be coming there is a couple of questions that you might be asking that a lot of people have asked already and you might also want to check out some of the descriptions of these particular stuff as regards to mock-up storyboard prototyping implementation and design all right so with all of this said let's take a look at some of the brand new updates features that are now available in blender 2.91 and actually i did see some of these updates in blender 2.90 beta and we're definitely going to talk about them so first things first with blender 2.91 alpha open right here you would notice that we still have our add object which by the way is no longer available in blender 2.90 beta for some reason that tool just simply disappeared and a good thing i still have blender 2.91 alpha so with this said if i simply go back and click on this button we now have a different form of placement you could notice that we have this here if i simply click right now you'll notice we now have a surface you know orientation form of placing things if i go through and click on that i can now place things here and i of course i can use this to place this object based of the surface normal of the other object so i can do that like this and you can see this you know happening contrary to what we have in blender 2.90 alpha which is the tool that we have right here you can notice that we don't have any of that stuff happening if i simply switch this back you can also notice that we don't have these things going on from here all we have is just base center origin we don't have anything that has to do with orientation but right here we do have orientation and this makes a lot of sense something else that is very very interesting to also take a look at is the multi-res so there is a multi-res modifier updates to this so if i go over to the modifier and jump over to the multi-res you can see that the layout is now looking even way prettier than before contrary to what we had which if i select this and go all the way from here select multi-res all right so you can see what this looks like all cramped up but right here we have this looking nice something else that is also nice looking is the update to the deform type for the slide or the relaxed sliding so if we simply go over to sculpt i'm going to drag this all the way out right now if i click on the slide relax and go all the way to the tool settings you will notice we have different deformation type so if you're using blender 2.91 alpha you can have access to this so if you want to do the drag pinch expand totally fine you can do that but if you're using like the older version of blender you probably wouldn't be able to do any of that so if i so if i simply switch to blender 2.90 and select the slide relax and jump all the way here you notice we don't have that feature and of course it's not going to be available in 2.83 either so there is also a very good improvement to pen pressure modulation for the paint brush so if i select the paint brush 
and go all the way to the brush setting you notice there is no modulation or no pen pressure consideration for this all right and if i go all the way to blender 2.91 alpha and simply select the paint go all the way to brush you can see these lovely looking babies and speaking about some very nice pen pressure and you know sculpting updates there is an amazing amazing stuff which i would like to show you guys but before we actually talk about those cool things that you guys will want to see let's talk about something that the guys at blender foundation are actually sharing with everyone and i'm talking about nothing more than the jobs so the jobs are still available so in case you want to apply for a senior back-end developer a writer editor blogger a developer community coordinator you can simply go over to blender.org forward slash jobs and apply for this this is definitely going to be an amazing opportunity for anyone who fits into this category as this would make the logo of blender shine even way brighter and speaking about things that will make the logo shine brighter the guys at blender community has actually released a community badge so if you're creating like you know channel content you're creating some artworks this logo will come in handy there is also something to be clarified about either using the name blender or using the logo itself so if you're making use of this particular logo which is this particular logo all right you need to make sure that you don't use it alone since it actually states that please do not use the logo in isolation so if you're making a movie something like that you need to make sure that you add every other logo that you are working with so if you're working with maya alongside blender with zbrush and maybe you're rendering in redshift yeah put all the logos together don't just put only the blender logo if you would like to just say you did everything in blender you could decide not to even put this logo in the first place and just go only with made with blender and these are a couple of misconceptions and questions you guys have been asking about the logo and i think i just did justice to that so with the questions about the logo clarified right now let's talk about some cool improvements that pablo is actually working on and let's talk about the brand new cloth grab sculpt feature that is now available with the clothes brush now this makes use of constraint to deform the clothes as you can actually see from what is going on right here and previously you could deform stuff you could actually get things happening but of course it did had some artifacts and something actually causes the artifact during simulation what happens is the deform brushes we are modifying the final position in the simulation directly and this was actually causing some sort of artifacts and deformed certain areas and all these led to problems and right now he has actually gone ahead to fix this as you can actually proceed to use the brushes as they deform in a separate array of positions and the solver simply adds constraint to them so the real vertices are being moved when solving the constraint and for sure this is definitely preventing every form of artifacts as the brush actually gives you a much more better result so if you're excited about the cloth brush of course you will be excited about this one so pablo has actually gone through and made a couple of you know demonstrations about this which makes a lot of sense and if you want to try this out you probably would have to wait for blender 2.90 to be finally out or probably this might come with blender 2.91 final version so something else that he has also done is with the anchor stroke so this is also very very interesting the anchor stroke mode has now been finally fixed with the cloth brush so now you can easily use this to pinch and pinch perpendicular deformation modes and you can actually do this very very intuitively and of course you can see the results that we have right here as they look pretty pretty nice and there are certain novelty updates that you might want to take a look at now there is updates to the drivers updates to the modifiers there is an update to the override and also cycles fluids and within the modeling tab as you can see that this is now disabled for 2.90 which we already talked about earlier i mean you can see like right now this doesn't exist so this is all about it these are all of the updates that are going on if there is anyone that i kind of missed please put that in the comment section and of course if you want to play with any of these things that we've talked about link is going to be in the description you want to read these things out for yourself link is also going to be in the description and of course if you like this video or you learned something from these you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this
Peace.